Okay, guys. Weather. How they do it, part three. Let's go ahead and click over one spot here. And you can see that this cloud's already formed, but if you look right there, this is what I keep trying to tell everybody. Once you see the cloud on the satellite image, the big cloud, you have to go back downwind to find the actual system. This is where the unit would be sitting. Okay, here's another unit. Here's another unit. Okay, now let's step through this. Boom. See, the unit was down here. You can see how it expands. Okay, this other unit I was talking about, it went from here to there. This one went from here to there, and now you've got another one. Now you can see it again. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Actually, this is two. Two different ones. And here's one. Okay. Next. 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 Well, let me undo this one right down here. Okay. So, boom. 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 Run to two more down here boom boom okay now let's look at something else okay here we have it in slow motion notice how dry the air is where it triggers it's completely dark black absolutely no moisture no moisture look at something else while we're let's move to a different section and look at something else okay here we're in Kansas and Nebraska what you're about to see here is something completely different than what's going on down here down here you saw the initial poof and then you watched it grow bigger and bigger and bigger up here you're going to watch this system start up here and trail its way down okay this is something completely different than what I've been talking about okay now watch what happens with this storm and you'll see the difference and this is why I said in the original video that not every one of these storms is produced by these uh, JX2 type systems this watch notice how the dry air is being pushed and pulled straight down against the normal current this is not the same thing that's going on down here down here you've got the poof go poof go poof go poof go there's about four different uh, pieces of equipment firing this one off and it turns into the cylinder and carries on this is the one I've been talking about this one watch it it trails this way down this guys is some type of ELF or some type of other signal that's being sent from up here somewhere straight down and it's actually breaking through the moisture barrier as it goes okay this system and this system are two different types and that's what I'm trying to point out in this video that's why I made this part three this one's traveling whatever it is it's traveling this I do not know what these are okay I've seen these several times okay this down here <clears throat> where you have four or five systems lined up in a row and they all fire off boom 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 that's the equipment that I've been talking about and it turns into a perfect circle and travels
wherever it's going to go. In this case, it's going to unite with this cloud. They're going to they're going to collide. This though is something that I do not know what it is yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. Okay. This down here, guys, is what I'm wanting you guys to be looking for so that if these pop up in your area, you can you within, you know, 15 minutes of you, you can drive down there and get the pictures. This I don't know what it is, okay? But these are the two different types. You have this kind here, which is clearly being developed. And then you got this kind here, which is also being developed, but it always drives itself downstream until it eventually comes to a stopping point, which in this case is right here at the Oklahoma border. Okay, this one is kind of like a funnel cloud, but it's traveling. And I do not know what this is. If you guys want to do some research and see if you can figure out what it is, that'd be great. I, at this point, I don't know what these are. Okay, this is the fourth time I have seen this kind of a system. I do not know how they're developing these. They always travel. They start somewhere and they, go, they travel right through like that. These are the ones I'm talking about right here. They always turn into a perfect spherical cloud. They start out going poof, 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 poof. And guys, remember, this is, we didn't have any kind of weather whatsoever during a three-day holiday. Even though we had solar flares, even though we had planetary alignment, and even though, uh, we even had the right weather conditions, plenty of humidity, plenty of everything to, to fire off extremely severe storms under normal conditions. It didn't happen. And let's go here for a second. And this is the actual radar loop. And there's a couple things I want you to notice. First, I want you to notice this thing traveling. Okay. The other thing I want you to notice is this line right here that's running along the edge of the storm system. And then I want you to notice this right here when it, when it pops up. It pops up twice, right here and right there. It pops up twice. Okay, also notice this signal coming off from here, striking that cell there, and it does it twice. It hits it here, and then there. What's interesting is all this weather is trying to travel north, northeast, yet all these signals are traveling south. Okay, and when you look at the radar loop, all these are just popping up in the same spot over and over and over again. Boom, 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 boom. But not on the satellite image. The satellite image is telling a different story. The satellite image shows all this moving south. This shows it being steady right here, constantly being triggered from one spot. Okay, here, these are your departures. Okay, the moisture has fallen 25%, 25%, minus 15 and this is in the area minus 30 where this but yet we have rain even though the moisture fell minus 30 we still got massive storms triggering even though it fell minus 5 and minus 10 and minus 15 we still got massive storms developing the moisture is falling and yet there's a crap load of moisture these are man-made storms just like the documents say. The other thing we can look at is the pressure. Let's take that off and put the pressure on. Notice all the pressure is going up. It takes low pressure to produce storm. Yet all this pressure is going up. It's plus 5, plus 4, plus 3, plus 2, plus 3, plus 2, plus 3. The pressure is increasing and yet storms are developing. And here you go. Here, 
here's here's the grand view of it. Like I said, as soon as the solar flare was over and the three day weekend was over and all and the planet you know, all the stuff is over, they would re trigger and, and make all these this go back to being powerful. Everybody was on vacation and the weather came to a standstill, so did the earthquakes around the globe. So guys you, you know, like I said, if anybody wants to research what this moving one is here, by all means do it. I mean, I don't think they've got, you know, 60 different machines sitting here to produce this kind of effect. Maybe they do, but I just don't think so. This is one of the rare ones. They, you know, I've only seen it four times. It, it travels straight down like that. Okay, this is the kind that I've been talking about right down here that's developed in Texas. Guys, I love you. Get in the word. Stay in the word. I just wanted to bring a part three to this to show you this this other system, guys, that when you see these, this is not what I've been talking about. This is some other technology, uh, some other part of HARP. I don't know what it is. Uh, perhaps it's ELF, pre you know, maybe it's uh, ULF, maybe it's ultra-low frequency. I don't know, but it travels. So it's something for people to look into and investigate. I'm out of time, but guys, once again, here it is. They are producing these. They go pop, 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 circle. Pop, 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 circle. And then you have this other type of system. And at this point, I do not know how they're creating these. But notice, guys, as soon as the three-day weekend was up, Basically at midnight, Tuesday morning, midnight, everything went right back to the way it was. Everything went right back to the way it was. And again, the earthquakes have picked right back up. So I love you guys. I'll put the link to this, um, to this website down below the video. I got this web this link from um, Dutch Sense when he put out a video he, he had included this link and Dutch Sense I appreciate you putting the link below the video for other people to be able to get to and to use um, and uh, again guys any of you guys that want a storm forecast uh, make sure you subscribe to Dutch Sense's channel I'll put him down below um, he, he gets it he understands it he under he knows how to read the signals of harp the, the various types of technologies involved with harp the different frequencies that they use and he can pick up the uh, the different rings and, and tell you what's coming but guys here it is once again here it is again they did it again right after the, the three-day holiday was up immediately this one was triggered and this one up here was and this one down here was triggered this one down here and this one right here immediately guys and you've got a low pressure system re-strengthening again okay guys i gotta get off here i love you talk to you soon